is trying to jumpstart the use of driverless cars on the streets of Britain, following the footsteps of states such as California, Nevada, and other cities like Berlin. The UK wants to start off testing driverless cars in three different cities, which have not been picked yet. It's offering a pot of 10 million pounds, which is roughly equivalent to 17 million dollars, to these cities to work with private businesses on driverless cars. The, the big breakthrough will be linking this up with satellite technology so that whole fleets of vehicles can be managed in a more efficient way. It saves time, saves fuel, and it's getting that technology right that, that will be the big change. And, and in parallel with it, uh, we've got to develop uh, thinking about regulation because, of course, public safety has got to come first. The technology is already here. We've seen cars that can park themselves, automatic braking. We've seen demonstrations of tractor trailers from Daimler that can drive themselves. Most major car companies are already looking into driverless cars and developing their own technology, even though Google has been grabbing most of the headlines, debuting its prototype in May. Just because we have the technology doesn't mean we have the infrastructure. Some say all of our roads need to be updated so that the cars can not just talk to each other, but talk to the roads as well. So when can we expect to be in cars that do all the driving for us while we sit back and play a game or do some reading? Not for a while, but we probably will see in a couple of years cars that do a lot of automated tasks for us. So until then, just keep both hands on the wheel.